forced disappearance, according to the United Nations, has three elements. That is deprivation of liberty of uh, the person who was forced to disappear. And it's state perpetrated. It's perpetrated by those who are supposed to protect the rights of their citizens. And um, there's also denial of uh, the whereabouts of the person. When a victim is subjected to enforced disappearance, he is deprived of his liberty. He is um, outside, he is put outside the protection of the law. So he is uh, under the mercy of the perpetrators and all the others in his family do not know in his community in, his, in the society do not know where where he is so he is really uh, in a very vulnerable situation that any form of human rights violation can be can be committed against him it's a very cruel form of human rights violations also to the families because they have no idea um, on the whereabouts of their loved ones. Many of the family members, because many of the uh, victims of enforced disappearances come from the poor sectors of uh, society. I should say with confidence that the participation of NGOs, civil society organizations, families associations, uh, was very important and very crucial in terms of ensuring that the content of the provisions of the convention were based on the true-to-life experiences of the victims. Strengthen the formation of associations of families of the disappeared in different Asian countries uh, and ensure the formation of uh, families associations in countries that uh, these associations have not existed because the formation of these associations will make sure that uh, enforced disappearances will contribute to the, to the possibility that enforced disappearances will no longer happen, will, will be erased from the face of the earth. Advocacy Forum uh, is a human rights organization working for promotion of uh, human rights and rule of law in the country. More than a decade of uh, engagement with AFAD. We joined AFAD during the context that when uh, there was a war in Nepal. During that war that started from 96 to 2006, uh, many victims were made disappeared by the both parties. It was a hard time for AF to do, do these all things because of the uh, political situations that a lot of you know, cases of human rights violations were taking place. And then we're looking for some solidarity from that international community as well. Plan for the future interventions uh, that really, AFAD really helped us to do that. And also to build networks at national and international level. It also uh, contributes in providing this sort of training and the facilitations on doc case documentations. So providing, you know, like uh, uh, providing supports on advocacy and campaign at national and international level as well. Odikar became a member of AFAD in 2011. Uh, it's been uh, 12 years now. Odikar is a human rights organization. It works different thematic areas, including the enforced disappearances. So our prime work is uh, to focus on civil and political rights. Enforced disappearance is one of the heinous crimes that has been committed by the security forces over the past uh, 12 years. AFAD has been very supportive to our work, particularly providing support to the victim families and strengthening our network of human rights defenders and uh, the victim families. AFAD, as a federation, uh, having frontline human rights organizations like Odikar as its member. It increased uh, AFAD's visibility. 
Defense of Human Rights DHR Pakistan is an organization that works for the victims of enforced disappearances in the country. And uh, we are a member of AFAD since uh, September 2014. And uh, collaboration with AFAD has been really helpful for uh, organization like DHR. Being affiliated with AFAD has helped us look at this issue in a very bigger perspective, in a regional perspective. So much stronger uh, uh, relationships with other organizations and networks and also um, the capacity building, I think, was really uh, helpful for us as members of B AFAD. Before we got affiliated with AFAD, DHR was just uh, uh, doing all its work based on no information, no knowledge at, as, uh, at all. And with the help of Afad, we are at some point now, we can say we know how to document, we know how to advocate, we know how to campaign, build campaigns, ed, uh, implement them in our countries, uh, better mobilize people, create awareness. 24 years contrast alongside with Afad, hand in hand advocating uh, the enforced disappearances issue in Indonesia through a series of advocacy, investigation, and also including the encouragement uh, to Komnas HAM or National Human Rights Institution to conduct a pro-justicia investigation of enforced disappearances in 2006. In 2010, uh, eventually, Indonesia government signed uh, the convention and committed, fully committed for the ratification process. In another work, contrast alongside Ikohi and Afat hand in hand to empower the victim community and regularly stimulating awareness for public to speak about the justice for enforced disappearances. Find was established on November 23, 1985, during the height of the people's resistance against the Marcos rule. It was organized to cater to the needs of the families who by then had been searching for their kins, uh, numbering around uh, hundreds. Find uh, was one of the, the members of the core group that worked for the establishment of the Asian Federation Against Involuntary Disappearances. And it was one of the founding members during its founding congress in 1998. We lobbied together in the United Nations for the adoption of the International Convention for the Protection of All Persons from Enforced uh, Disappearances. Today, FIND implements projects together with APAD uh, that are geared towards institutional strengthening and uh, capacity building of its members, which aims to transform them from uh, victims to survivors and uh, to activists. Today we celebrate AFAD's 25th anniversary. You have had a glimpse of what the Asian Federation Against Involuntary Disappearances had achieved thus far. But this is a mere sneak preview of the Federation launch of a year-long information campaign on the phenomenon of forced disappearance across Asia. We shall publish a series of video documentaries and discussions with in-depth perspectives and analysis on the phenomenon of enforced disappearances in the different countries where member or organization of AFAD work. How such cruel occurrence impacts on the victims and the families that they unceremoniously leave behind, the whys and the wherefores, contexts and surrounding conditions leading to this most cruel form of human rights violation, as well as the consequential long-drawn search for truth and justice. These realities AFAD puts at the forefront to put a stop to the practice and end impunity so we may all live in a world without desaparecidos. For more video documentaries, watch out for the links and subscribe to the AFAD channel on YouTube, Disappeared Asia. AFAD desires to expand its reach across the Asian region. Do follow us for details.